Hello everyone. Today I will be talking about Azure AI services, what all services are available and when we should use which one. So now in order to understand which AI service will fit for our need, first of all we need to understand the problem. What problem are we trying to solve? And once the problem statement is clear, it wouldn't be that difficult to choose the service because each and every service is designed in such a way that the target problem specific to a certain domain. Now again, it's not like that we can knock the door of AI for every single problem. AI has its specific use cases and approaches. Let's consider two of these approaches. The first one is the machine learning and second, first one is deep learning and second one is the machine learning. Wherein deep learning emphasizes more on learning through experience and is modeled around neural network. At the same time, machine learning uses the existing data to predict the future. So this is the major difference between these two approaches if i will talk about the best example which every one of us can relate is the self-driving cars now for self-driving cars data is collected from the sensors cameras and geomapping helps constructing the sophisticated models which ultimately help in identifying the road signs path and even we can figure out the routes where vehicles are not allowed basically it is completely based on the real-time elements including traffic volume also and I'm sure there could be a lot more other factors which are participating in such applications. Coming on to the ML, there are again a lot many applications which we can relate. But the one which almost every one of us are using these days is the social media services. You can see the ads which are rendering the people suggestions we are getting, the job recommendations we are getting. So all these wonderful features are the applications of machine learning. Coming on to the offerings, so based on the audience and use cases, currently there are three offerings from the Microsoft and each one of have their own tools, APIs and set of services. First one is the Azure Machine Learning. It is a platform for making predictions and it provides the tool which allows us to train and test the models. So once the models are tested and accuracy is pretty satisfactory, then it allows us to deploy the model in real time using web API endpoints. Apart from this, uh, it also helps in defining the process to clean the data, fix the missing data and all those preliminary steps. So being a data scientist, if you want to have a complete control over the algorithm design as well as model training part, then Azure ML would be your best option. Jumping on to the next one, which is Azure Cognitive Services. This offering mainly deals with pre-built machine learning models and it is designed to solve the general purpose problem like extracting a text, recognizing facial expressions, analyzing an image or say if you want to add uh, listen and speak capabilities to your application or you want to recognize some object in your image and there could be many more. And the best part is to use or to play with cognitive services, one need not to be a data scientist. Any person having developer capabilities can work with this. It is mainly divided into four broad categories, language, speech, vision, and decision. So accordingly, we can think where our requirement best, best fits in. Third comes the Azure Bot service. This service is used if someone wants to create virtual agents that can understand and respond back to the conversation almost like a human. So this communication may happen via text, speech, or interactive cards, I would say. And basically here, the idea is to automate the process by reducing human intervention for repetitive tasks. Next, these are the key questions which would help you to understand what to choose when. Now, first one is, do you want to make a prediction? Do you want to judge what will happen in future? In that case, Azure ML is your option. Next is, do you want to add intelligent capabilities like extraction, detection, or you want to understand something, you want to translate something, then Azure Cognitive Services would be your option. Third one is, if you want to, to replace human tasks like something which human is doing repetitively, the same thing it is doing, then we will say that Azure Bot is the best option. Let's have a look at few of the key scenarios. First one is if you want to replace physical customer care desk by automated system, then we can go for Azure Bot service. 
if you want to increase the sales by suggesting products based on the past based on the history what customers has bought last time so here azure ml would be your option now if you want to show contents and image based on the geography in that case we can use azure cognitive service and specifically translator service fourth one is if you want to suggest product based on any other criteria like expressions or mood human's mood how he is behaving how he is reacting then in that case we can go for our own machine learning models but if your requirement is not that specific then you can still stick to azure cognitive services now if you are still not sure uh, what to use when then i would suggest you to revisit your use case and think once again whether you really need an ai service at this point like you should be clear but still if things are not making any sense then the last option would be to go and explore azure analytics services because those services will give you better understanding of your data and what actually your use case is and where it should fit whether it is machine learning whether it is bot service related or whether it is simply extraction task so all these things and the clarity you can get it in azure analytics services so hope you enjoyed the briefing of azure ai and thanks for watching